to order regular meeting planning and zoning commission today's december 15 2016 and it is 6 16. vice chair members of the commission will do roll call <clears throat> yes i was just going to ask you to do that oh sorry go ahead go ahead and do it chairman bronzo present vice chairman putrick President. Then Commissioner Bell. Finally here. <laughs> we have a quorum, we have a meeting. Thank you. Would you all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Including Colin Copernic. Okay, moving right along. Discussion, approval, disapproval, and minutes of the regular meetings conducted on September 15th and October 20th. We'll start with September 15th, 2016. Do we have any comments? Mr. Bell. I have no comments. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes of uh, September 15th. September 15th. I'll second. I have a motion by Commissioner Bell. Second by Commissioner Patrick. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carried. October 20th, any, com any comments? I have, no, I have no comments. Can I have a motion, please? I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for October the 20th, 2016. Second. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion carried. New business. Anthem at Merrill Ranch, preliminary plot PZ 1663 for unit 52. Do we have a presentation? Chairman, Vice Chairman, yes. Town staff has a uh, presentation, and the applicant is also present for questions after. I can't hear a damn word you're saying. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Yes, we do have a presentation from town staff. Okay, well, get on with it. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs> right, once again, uh, my name is Will Randolph, town planner here with the town of Florence. Uh, chairman, vice chairman, members of the commission, I will be doing a presentation for the first uh, item, which is the uh, uh, preliminary, plat, preliminary plat for Anthem at Merrill Ranch 52, uh, PZK 1663. And Real briefly, here is the uh, location of the Preplat 52 in the uh, uh, Anthem at Merrill Ranch de development or community. Um, it is approximately at the uh, northeast area of Merrill Ranch Parkway and then Felix Road. Uh, this shows you kind of an overall perspective of where the uh, plat will be. And the next slide here shows the uh, superimposed lot lines within the um, Preplat 52. Uh, we should have the uh, two points of access from the north, which would, would be Balboa Drive, and this would be a secondary emergency access. Uh, this was all provided to you in your uh, staff packets, of course. Um, uh, first off, this uh, pre-plat is consistent, consistent with the AMR PUD, which was amended back in April 2008. and. Um, it also has been um, previously approved within the Sun City portion of the community and will uh, continue, will be in continuance of the uh, AMR development that is to occur within the Anthem Merrill Ranch community. Um, it will not increase the maximum allowed density of three and a half dwelling units per acre and falls in consistence with the AMR PUD in that portion. Uh, real briefly, we, it composes of 125 single family residential lots. We have the the main vehicle access point here and secondary emergency access. Uh, uh, minimum lot areas are 6,905 square feet with a maximum lot area of 23,150 square feet. 
with the average lot sizes of uh, about eight, approximately 8,000 and uh, running at 2.05 dwelling units per acre. Uh, the circulation as shown in this exhibit um, provides uh, easy access to all the lots and there is um, the road the neighborhood streets are, are fall in line with the AMR PUD at 40 foot of right way and then also the plat uh, accommodates or exceeds of having the 15 percent amount of open space uh, staff found, found that this preliminary plat was in conformance with the AMR PUD it does have two ve vehicular access points and it definitely does uh, meet the density and open space requirements of the AMR PUD. And that concludes my presentation of the preliminary plat 52. Do we, at this time, I'll open it up to the commissioners. Do we have any questions at this point? Yeah, I have one that's uh, temporary access or, or emergency access. I'm trying to understand where that comes out. Um, is that near the? Can't read. Is that near the um, uh, the grill and the com the comp the uh, golf center? Well, if if you look at the uh, exhibit on the screen, here is Bushwood Court, and so the secondary emergency access would be at this location. Okay, I got it. Well. Will the secondary access be paved, or will it just be a, a dirt road, or will it be maintained, or? It, it'll be a maintained, uh, uh, Chair, members of the Commission, it'll be a maintained all-weather road access. And, uh, and Pulte can correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it looks like on, uh, you can see on page three of the subdivision plat materials, it comes out of a Bushwood Court, and then I believe that it, the, it provides access into unit into unit 50 into the public streets that are unit 50, and that subdivision is um, east of the of where the restaurant is. Yes. In fact, uh, 50 is the unit where you can see them building a, uh, a few new homes in there now. They have four in there now. So. Yep. Mm. That's all I have. That's all I have. Could I have a motion, please? Oh. I I got one question for who's ever representing Pulte today. Just our standard boilerplate question. Yep. Are you ready? Yes, I am, sir. Okay. Um, staff recommendations um, approve the preliminary plat subject to the following conditions. Uh, are you familiar with those conditions and agree with them? Yes, I am, and I do. Okay. Oh, quickly, your name? For Randy the... Christman, Pulte Homes. Thank you, Randy. You bet. Okay. May I have a motion, okay. please? I move that we um, approve this preliminary plat for EZ 16-63. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carried. Anthem at Merrill Ranch, preliminary plat PZ-1661, unit 56A. Chairman, Vice Chairman, members of the uh, commission, Will Randolph again, town planner. I will give you this presentation on 56A, PZ-16-61. Uh, this preliminary plat of 56A is north of the previously discussed 52 and north of the AMR 50 and then the, uh, in the vicinity of the Merrill Ranch Parkway and Felix Road. Um, this is kind of a vicinity map of showing where it is in the AMR community. And then here is showing the lots uh, superimposed into this exhibit and here we have four access points. This coming off of Stony Quail Run and Presidio Drive off the main Felix uh, uh, arterial there and then we had the uh, neighborhood streets that would uh, uh, go into this future subdivision right here and then of course um, this access point into 52 to the south and here is the uh, pre plat itself showing the uh, lots it, it has 49 single-family residential lots um, 
the access points off of Stony Quail Way, and here's Felix Road again. And then we have this leading into uh, Meridian Drive, and then we have the Balboa Drive over here. And these 49 single family lots are um, mostly, well, they're between 6,000, 95 square feet to um, uh, 8,775 with average lot size of uh, 7,231. And we are running at 2.08 dwelling units per acre. Town of Florence Public Works and Fire Department staff have re reviewed this pre-plat and are satisfied. Uh, the circulation again has the 40-foot uh, standard neighborhood street right away and also meets the open space requirements of having 15% per the AMR PUD. Um, staff is in full support of uh, the AMR 56A and it does have its four points of vehicular access and definitely de meets the density open space uh, requirements for the Anthem and Merrill Ranch PUD. Again, if you have any questions for staff or the applicant, we can answer those for you. I'll open it up to the commissioners. I have no questions. I have no questions either. I'm going to make you get up again. <laughs> the, the conditions on this one is exactly the same as the last one. I assume you've read them and are familiar yes. with them? Yes. We're good. Any problem? You're good. We're good with them. Thank you. Thank you. And one more time, your name for the record. Yep. Randy Christman, Pulte Homes. Thank you, Mr. Christman. All right. I move that we approve. I'll say PZ 1669. I'm sorry. I'm not reading the right, right one. PZ 1661 for unit 56A. I'll check it. Motion by Commissioner Pranzo, second by Commissioner Bell. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carried. Okay, Anthem at Merrill Ranch Community Dog Park. PZ 1669DR. This is for approval or disapproval of a design review application from Pulte Homes for a dog park to be located within the community park in Anthem at Merrill Ranch. Chairman, Vice Chairman, members of the Commission, Will Randolph again, Town Planner. This is the location of the Anthem at Merrill Ranch Dog Park, which would be located in the 62-acre community park. Uh, the applicant has come forth to uh, bring another addition to this community park that would be definitely viable to the whole Anthem at Merrill Ranch community and providing more opportunities for residents to gather to interact and it also would be a um, another gathering place and also studies have shown um, having alternatives for residents to bring their dogs to for dogs to interact with each other provides also for has shown to provide for a healthier living environment so it's definitely a great asset to have to the community park and the whole Anthem uh, Park site and Sun, Sun City um, communities. A uh, little of the details about the park, here's a closer up view. It will be three separate fenced um, dog parks, one being a larger fenced area for larger breeds and then a, a smaller fenced area for small breeds and then this alternative location if maintenance or work is being done on one of the, the uh, major two locations. Um, this, this dog park will feature many um, hardscape features in terms of um, pavers or concrete and then it will have canvas sails for shade to uh, help the residents within the uh, summer months, of course. It'll also feature um, LED lighting, uh, the the fencing, uh, water fountains, uh, signage, and landscaping that is com consistent with the AMR PUD uh, plant palette guidelines. Grading and retention will be on the west and south sides of the site, and will also include landscaping for the uh, surrounding pedestrians and the um, vehicular users are along Anthem Way. Um, the grading and retention has been looked at the town engineer and, and they have uh, given their approval on the, uh, the drainage for the site. And there, yeah, there's no more of the presentation at this time. If you have any questions for staff, please feel, so, feel free to ask. Um, staff, I'm, I'm assuming that the existing parking to there's no arrow on this, but I'll just say to the north of yeah. that. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, that's pretty important. The existing parking will be to the uh, north, and here is the amphitheater 
that is existing, and then this will be the main entryway, and then we will have pedestrian access from the school to the south for some, for some more um, connectivity. Well, it seems you've thought of everything. There's shade, there's fencing, it's all there. Yep. And to tell you the truth, I don't know anything about dog parks. So do we have any other questions? No, uh, I like it. Uh, when do you plan the construction? The construction portion of it. Could you, could you come up? Yep. And guess what? State your name. Randy Christman, Pulte Homes. Um, we plan to start as soon as we can, hopefully right the first of the year. Uh, we built a, a dog park out at our Sun City Festival in Buckeye. So that's kind of, so we have some, a little bit of knowledge about building dog parks and our landscape architect has done some himself. So um, that's why we're excited to do this one down here too. So we have a little bit of a guinea pig at Sun City. So we learned some things from there and we incorporated this into the design here. So it'll be a good addition to our park. Uh, one other question. Rules for the road. Is there going to be some kind of signage or something that tells yes. people how to conduct themselves? Yes, and, I, and there's also going to be an HOA component to this where they have to, oh, there's a signage. But then there's also going to be rules for the HOA, and you have to sign up to be, so you can take your dog to the park. You have to be licensed, everything else. So. Great. For, mem for members of the community only? Um, yeah, right now that's what it's planned to be. Yep. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Um, can I have a motion, please? I'll recommend that we forward a, a this approval is, uh, of PG 16 69 uh, with staff's recommendations. I'll second it. We have a motion by Commissioner Bell. Second by Commissioner Pulte. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carried. Okay, Pulte Home Plans for Anthem at Merrill Ranch, PZ 1670 DR. Design review application. Okay, this is item 5D on the agenda. And again, my name is Will Randolph, Town Planner, members of the Commission, Chairman. Uh, Pulte Homes has come forth with us with an application with two new floor plans for their homes in the Anthem Merrill Ranch community, uh, featuring a, a 4200 and a, a 5400 series. And they submitted a complete product book with these two new um, plan additions and then also making some minor very my, uh, minuscule alterations to their eight existing plans. And uh, uh, Pulte did this in response to some consumer studies and then finding out some of the residents wanted some uh, new technological features and having more energy efficiency in their um, product and then also having some larger square footage. Uh, the exhibit in front of you shows elevation A of the uh, 4200 series which there is an elevation A, an elevation B, and an elevation C for their three different types of architecture of Spanish, Italianate, and Tuscan. So this is the Spanish right here with its uh, popular uh, circular arches, bold face walls, has some of the ornamental features of the uh, shutters. And this was all included in the book that was provided to you in the packet. Hope you had a chance to look. Yes, those are Roman arches. Oh, Roman arches, my apologies. Uh, and then also here's the uh, second elevation with some of the, the sill features. Of course, the tile roofing, many of the uh, designs along the trim. And then here is the third, which is the Tuscan with the stone veneer. Also have some um, uh, decorative awnings and some uh, different tile features that, are, that can be provided on the roof. Uh, for the eight existing plans, um, those had just very uh, minor alterations in terms of the exterior fireplaces and then having optional windows by the kitchen, but those were provided in the product book to us because staff requested a total, a total updated product book for all the plans, so um, staff would be up to speed on um, what's going on in the Anthem Merrill Ranch community. 
Um, this exhibit I flipped to is the, the 5400 series and it has its three different types of architecture also with the Spanish and the Italian 8 and the uh, Tuscan. And of course on the side here is the floor plans if you, if, if you uh, want to look at any of the uh, details on those items also and pretty, pretty um, kind of simple but uh, we're definitely fortunate to have Pulte resubmit. So if you have any questions for staff or the applicant, feel free to do so. No, I don't, I don't have any questions. I don't either. I don't know. They got to sell them. Oh, I forgot. Is it Mr. Curtis? Chrisman. Curtis Chrisman. Chris, I'm going to forget in 10 seconds anyway. Please, if you would. Hi, I'm Randy Chrisman, Pulte Homes. Thank you, Mr. Chrisman, for your patience. You bet. From what I can tell, these, the, the architecture of these buildings is consistent with the entire Anthem um, project. So. I don't see any questions that I can provide on that. So we'll just skip right to it. And the conditions that have been set by staff, are you familiar with them? Yes, I am. And agree? Yes, sir. Great. That's all I have. I don't have anything. OK. I'll make a motion. That Please. We, um, PZ 1670. We approve PZ 16 dash 70 uh, DR design review. I'll second that motion. We have a motion by Commissioner Pulte. Patrick. I'm Pulte. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> wow, dinner's waiting. I can't wait to get to it. <laughs> and and uh, second by Commissioner Pranzo. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carried. Good luck with your project, gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. Call to the public for co uh, commission response. I'm not going to read this whole thing. Is there any public comment? I'll close. Call to the public. Staff report. Community Development Department update. Chair, members of the commission. Um, I provided you with um, an update on some of the projects that are that, that we're working on and um, I won't go through every one of those bullet points but I will highlight um, a couple of things number one as you can probably see here tonight and as you already knew uh, Mr. Elgin is no longer with the with the town after his long stint here um, so Will and I um, and the rest of the office are, are managing with our our vacancies right now and um, and have a little uh, and we are recruiting a couple of positions so hopefully we'll get uh, staffed up again soon um, medical office building um, next to the hotel things are going well with that we're working out some some issues regarding um, water and and sewer um, on that project some utility issues and going through the review of the construction drawings but everything at this point is still looking pretty good so we hope to see that breaking ground um, in the first quarter um, the Circle K project uh, we are still waiting for a development agreement application from them but I know that they continue to have discussions on um, on getting that project moving as well and if there's anything in particular on the report, you you can feel free to ask me about about those items. Um, uh, we did get a development agreement application on the artisan acres or the expansion of Territory Square, so we'll be working that out. And also, um, we're working on the uh, DR DR uh, process for that. And we finally completed the screen wall at the ABLE substation. I know that's a ways out there, but that's a cooperative project that we did with SRP and with Pinal County. And that was fun to get that project done. That was actually our first SRP Aesthetics Fund project. So every year we're allotted some funds from SRP to go towards basically beautification of an SRP facility. 
and um, and since that since we don't have a lot of land in the SRP territory, that was the project that we uh, that we worked on. So we have a nice uh, screen wall built around there. But if there's anything else on the report that you want to ask me about, um, feel free. Otherwise, that concludes my report. All right. Well, I, I have to take a minute to show my ignorance on near and dear to my heart, really near and dear to my heart, is the strategic plan. And I wasn't aware that we had a citizen's advisory group. Is, this, is that a, a long-standing group, or is this just the people that have been gathered? It's pretty new. It's pretty I, think new. I'm, I think I mentioned the strategic plan in my, in my report, right? And good. we're still on that item. So good, I will continue to uh, discuss that item. Yes, the, uh, the council indicated a desire to have a citizens group. Um, and so they gave that direction to the town manager and that group was created. So it was a new group created specifically uh, for this task and uh, names were provided, uh, council provided names to the town manager of uh, who they would like to serve on that group. Do we have a nice mix of both sides of the tracks? Yes, yes, both sides of the, of the river, yes. Okay. Absolutely, and they've, and they've been a hard, tremendously hardworking group, very passionate group. Um, we've accomplished a lot on this project so far. I know it's taking um, a little bit of time, but that's also because we had a couple of elections in the process and, there, and we wanted to make sure that we did adequate public input. So uh, we had a great results on our, on our online survey. Uh, we also did stakeholder surveys, uh, student surveys through the high school, uh, a couple of public meetings, and then several meetings of the citizens advisory group. And we're looking to have a work session uh, the date just got moved, but we're looking at, I believe it's the second Friday. Um, please, anyone listening, con confirm that date with me, but I believe it's going to be now the second Friday in January, and it'll be a work session with the council and the strategic advisory group. Is that open to the public? Uh, public absolutely can attend that meeting. It, it probably will be in this room. Great. Okay. Anything else? No. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I lost uh, somebody. Call to commission. Oh, yeah. I, we're at uh, call to the commission. Just have yours. Call to the commission. Yes, that's what it was. Call to the commission, current events only. Do we have anything? I have nothing. I have nothing. Okay. I'll close call to the commission. May I have a motion to adjourn? Move that we adjourn. Second. I have a motion by Vice Chair Puchrick, Puchrick otherwise known as Pulte. <laughs> <laughs> That's my alias. And Thank Commissioner you. Bell. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? We're adjourned.